Hello everybody, this is Dr. Feminath. Today I am going to explain to you the various health problems an N95 mask can cause on prolonged wearing. I was intrigued into this topic because most of my colleagues and co-workers were complaining of headache, difficulty in breathing, fatigue, confusion, dizziness, so on and so forth. So I went about searching what WHO and various medical universities has to say about this. Then I understood that they say there is no evidence to substantiate that. Then I understood that it is probably because there have not been much research which has been conducted regarding this. So I went searching for research in a similar situation. I understood that people who were exposed to overcrowded room in a closed room had faced similar difficulties. So I went about doing some investigation myself. I recorded the oxygen concentration of blood, the respiratory rate, rather the breathing rate, the heart rate and the blood pressure of five individuals. They were subjected to wear an N95 mask for a period of one hour. After one hour, when I searched, when I checked these parameters, it was found that the oxygen concentration remained the same, but all the other parameters went up by 20 to 30 percent. So what does it infer? At the expense of something, something else is happening. So does it have a deleterious effect on our body? We'll have to check and find out. Now, to understand that, you should understand some basics. For us to function, we need energy. For energy, we need oxygen. We take up oxygen from the inhaled air. This oxygen is passed on to the RBCs in the blood. The heart then pumps and then takes this RBCs to the cells. In the cells, this oxygen is released. It is converted to energy. And as a byproduct of this metabolism, carbon dioxide is released. Carbon dioxide is taken back into the RBCs, that is red blood cells, and taken back to the lungs where it is exhaled out. This is what normally happens. Now, I would like to compare our lungs to a balloon. Now, to inflate a balloon, you require energy, blowing energy. Once the balloon has been inflated, deflation is a passive process because of the elastic recoil. Similarly, inhaling in air by the lungs is an active process where inspiratory muscles function. Whereas the exhalation is by a passive process which involves elastic recoil of the lungs. Now let us see how a mask can adversely affect us. By wearing a mask, what happens is there is some amount of resistance for inspiring, inhaling air. For inhaling air, there is some resistance because of the presence of mask. So a person who is wearing mask has to use more force to inhale air than a person without a mask. Similarly, Exhalation of the air also requires some amount of force which was supposed to be passive for a person without any mask. Now baseline is because of the mask more energy is being consumed than without a mask. Now let us consider that the air which we exhale out has got more amount of carbon dioxide which is held back by the mask which a person wears. Now he inhales back the same carbon dioxide. That means to say that there is a possibility that there is less amount of oxygen in the blood which is harmful to our cells because cells require oxygen or else anaerobic metabolism can ensue. Now because of the less amount of oxygen, immediately there is a body called carotid body in our carotid artery, bifurcation of the carotid artery. This recognizes that there is decrease in oxygen and immediately sends in signals to compensate for that. The first thing is, it increases the rate in which breathing happens, so that the maximum amount of oxygen available can be taken in. Now whatever is being taken in by the RBCs, red blood cells has to be circulated faster, for which the heart has to pump in faster, so the heart rate goes up. Now you know that blood travels to the, to the, to the arteries, which is a lumen. Now if the artery is 
has got a lumen which is larger, the blood flowing through the lumen will be at a smaller pace. It will be running at a slower pace for which body sends in signals so that it gets constricted and narrows down the diameter of the blood vessels wherein the blood flows faster. Now consider this particular person is being subjected to the same kind of treatment for a long period of time. Body attunes itself so that there is high amount of heart rate, high amount of breathing rate and high amount of blood pressure. So he tends to become a hypertensive patient that is a person with increased amount of higher BP, blood pressure. So again you consider another aspect of it, a person with a high uh, blood pressure that is uh, a person who has got a smaller lumen, smaller diameter artery will have to function faster that is the heart will have to function faster against the resistance of this blood vessel. So it is actually giving a big load to the heart. What can happen in the long run? The heart can fail. So it can result in something which is known as congestive cardiac failure. So there are a lot of other ill effects. It is not only the heart which has been affected, it, there will be kidney which has been affected. There are a lot of other uh, organs which will get affected because of this process. By using an N95 mask, you cannot completely filter out viruses because viruses are particles which has got a diameter of 0 0.06 micrometer whereas N95 can filter in only particles which is more than 0.1 micrometer. So even if even after we wearing N95 mask and if you get infected and at the same time you have developed all the systemic complications, what does it mean? It goes to waste. So thinking about this and keeping in mind the governmental regulations, you should make up a decision regarding this. If you find this video useful, kindly subscribe to my channel, press the bell button. Till I come up with the next video, it's goodbye from me.